we're going to start, Francesca, with a couple of questions from some of the young people here. Uh, and we're going to go to the front row. And uh, we're going to give a microphone oh, to this girl here. What's your name? Catherine. This is Catherine. Hi, Catherine. And what is your question for Francesca? What book did you read when you were a child? What book? What, which book did you read when you were a child? Is this a favourite book? Yeah. 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 Um, well, I, when I was little, I actually read about six hours a day because we didn't have a TV. Um, but my favorite book was um, a book by a writer called Edward Eager, called Half Magic. And I would read, I've read this book 20, 30 times, because I love books about magic. And I love books about magic happening to ordinary children, because I thought if they could find something magical, so I could have magic in my life. So that was my favorite book. Thank you. Great question and great talk, which I think was made by your mom today, wasn't it, Catherine? Your mum made you talk. Fantastic. OK, now we're just going across the aisle for the second and final question. What's your name? Lewis. Hi, Lewis. And what's your question for Francesca? If you were to invent another character, would it be a girl or a boy? What would their name be called? And what would their personality be like? Ooh. Um, I always try to have a new character in every book. Um, so my most recent character is someone called Stone Age Stephen, who's the boy who wants to be a caveman. But I don't have a new character in mind. It kind of has to happen to me. Um, it, it's usually, I'll, someone will say a funny adjective. Uh, the way I always come up with my character's name is that I think of a horrible adjective, like moody or sour or rude, and then I put a name with it. So I need to think about an adjective can, what, can you suggest one for me? Do you have a character in mind? No, not really. <laughs> no, not even a horrid... What's your name again? Lewis. Lewis. So if I did an L... How about Loopy Lewis? <laughs> <laughs> You're not... So remember, the horrid Henry characters, they're always me. They're never nice, except for Jolly Josh. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Lewis. Uh, now we'll turn to some questions from around the country and indeed beyond these shores we Ooh. start with. Um, uh, with some students, fifth grade students from Kultur Primary School in Istanbul. Oh, wow. In Turkey. So if you're watching, hello. Hello, I'm not sure if you Istanbul. Will be. Uh, you might watch later. Um, and they say that they're reading Horrid Henry's Wicked Ways. They love all the characters you've created and their stories. But what they would like to know, this is an easy question. Um, will you ever visit Turkey? Uh, for book signing so that they can meet you in person and have their books autographed because you're their favorite author. I actually was in Istanbul last year. I went with Miranda Richardson, who is the actor who reads all the Horrid Henrys on CD. She invited me to come with her and I had the most amazing time in Istanbul. So I have been, I didn't go to do a book signing. I went as a incredibly happy tourist. Fantastic. Thank you very much for that question. Uh, this comes from closer from home. Hannah in Roundthorn Primary School in Oldham. Now, we've got our classes here from three schools dressed up brilliantly and possibly dressed up wherever you are listening and watching too. But they're asking you, Francesca, if you had to dress up as a character <gasps> from your favourite book. Maybe that's too difficult or any book. What would it be? And they're saying they're, they're dressing up today to raise money for their classmate, Fida's sister for a life-changing operation. So they say, please say hello to them. Hello. <laughs> and, and I've never, ever been asked that question because I'm really bad at dress-ups. Um, <laughs> so um, my, I have two favorite book characters. One is a really goody-goody girl detective named Nancy Drew. But I wouldn't like to dress up as her. My other favorite character is this mean old lady from Pride and Prejudice called Lady Catherine de Bourgh. And the reason I really like her is because she's so rude to everybody. All she is is rude because she just doesn't care because she's so mean and horrible. So I just thought it would be kind of fun for a day just to walk around and being really rude. So I'd be in big crinolines and bustles. And basically, I'd have a skirt that probably would be as wide as this studio so I could just knock everybody out of the way as I walked around. 